and I am from interview preparing and training team and by profession, I'm a counselor. And I will be conducting you today's interview. Okay, nice to meet you, ma'am. My name Same. is Purnima. Great, pleasant name. Purnima, could you please introduce yourself to me? Okay, uh, good evening, ma'am. First of all, thank you for giving this opportunity to me. My name is Purnima Karande. I completed my MSc in Agrial Biotechnology in 2015. Uh, on that same time, uh, first I got, place, got placed in uh, Nari Institute as a technical assistant. There I did uh, one and a half year as a <coughs> project uh, work. And along with project work, I conduct many trainings regarding my project. In 2017, I was working as assistant professor in College of Agriculture, Fulton. Uh, during that period, I taught uh, every subject related to botany department to BSc agriculture students. And during that period, I also conduct uh, extracurricular activities of uh, graduate students. Among them, six of my students get uh, uh, international uh, scholarship recommendation. In 2021, I joined College of Agriculture Saralgao in Thane up to the November 2020, 2022. <clears throat> in my downtimes, I uh, used to read books, enjoy music, and travel. Thank you. Okay, so Pune, what I got to know looking at your introduction is uh, you were uh, for the appointed for the position of assistant professor, yeah? Yes. So why do you want to join Biojuice and why do you want to teach young students? Because you will be teaching adolescents less than primary or the junior high school students at Biojuice. So why do you want to miss that opportunity and join Biojuice? Actually, uh, due to recall, uh, relocation uh, issue, I leave a previous job in Thane district. Uh, now I am searching job opportunity around Pune. And uh, as I uh, read the skills required for Baijus, that is totally matched to uh, my experience. That's why I'm going to apply here. That's absolutely fine. But don't you think that coming from uh, assistant professor background, we should look for some job opportunities in within that field itself? Uh, yeah, but uh, uh, that is like a location issue uh, for the graduate student around my uh, city. And uh, as I go through the syllabus, uh, there is a basic terms which are uh, already I covered in the graduation syllabus. That's why I'm here to apply for this position. And this job will be really challenging for you because you have taught college students, teaching college students, to, uh, students who already have knowledge about what is life. They have suffered a lot in their life. They have seen something really great in their life. You will be teaching students of adolescent age group, but below that. So don't you think it will be a challenge for you to accept that? No, ma'am. Actually, I think like that it is more easy because graduate students, we have to start from basic up to the advanced level. And here I have much time to explain some basic to limited things. That's why I think it is more easy to teach them instead of graduate students. Okay, let's see. Anyways, uh, could you please tell me something about Baijus? Who is the owner and co-founder of Baijus? Yes, ma'am. Uh, the owner of Baijus is Baiju Ravindram, sir. And uh, uh, co-founder is uh, Divya Gokulnath, ma'am. Okay. And what is the latest news you know about Baijus? Uh, yeah, in uh, up to November 2022, uh, Baijus acquired more 20, uh, 22 different firms and invested in uh, uh, two different firms. And it also acquired Osmo, that is a multinational uh, industry for a teaching purpose. Uh, why only Baijus? There are so many uh, other apps as well. Online teaching a way down to extra marks upgrade. Why do you only want to apply at Baijus? Because uh, Baijus is Indian multinational company and it uh, will be on top uh, by day by day because he, it has a key features and uh, people also uh, going uh, choosing Baijus instead of other because of its key feature. That's why I I will I also will be happy to the part of this Baijus. 
And in which year Baijus was established? Uh, in 2011. Will you tell me some of the competitors of Baijus? Uh, yeah, uh, Khan Academy is there and uh, Think Up is there, Canvas is there. I know some about these. These are the competitors of Baijus. And some company with Baijus is already acquired? Uh, Topper, uh, uh, Topper is there, Great Learning, again Osmo, Akash. Okay. Now, could you please teach me yes, one topic topic at science for five to seven minutes of your reference? Any topic in science. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Uh, so, first of all, good uh, evening to all my students. My name is Purnima. We will uh, learn about uh, very basic topics which are related to us. That is the fundamental unit of life, the cell. So, as we living in environment, there are number of things around us. For example, living things and non-living things. So, question may be arising like that. Why living things of uh, living things are living? And the answer is the presence of cell. So, cell the is defined of... as is a cell. Okay. So, that's why the cell is defined as it is a structural and functional unit of living organism. So, why this definition is like that? He, uh, so that cell is a structural and functional unit of living organism. So for understanding, I will give you one example. So here is a one plant. So this plant is made up of leaves, stem, buds are there. It may be uh, it may be developing the flowers, roots are there. So these leaf, if you take this leaf and visualize under microscope you will see number of cells okay so basically cell within this leaf that cell multiply produce tissue after tissue organ <coughs> get produced for example this leaf and by organs system get developed for example this shoot system and root system and by combining the different systems the cell get uh, sorry the body of entire organism for example this plant get developed that's why cell is a structural unit of living organism the second point is a functional unit why cell is a functional unit of living organism so as i as now we discussed the uh, cell is a <coughs> Sorry, body of organism is made up of cell. So, structure of this living organism is made up of cell. In case of functions, there are many metabolic functions are going inside of body to conduct growth and development of that organism. For example, I will give you one example that is protein synthesis. Okay, so protein synthesis is key event which produce protein. And more than 75% of our body functions is controlled by or governed by directly and indirectly by protein. So, this protein is produced inside of cell in ribosome. So, in cell there are more in eukaryotic cell there are multiple organs which togetherly work and carry out the function of this entire organism that's why cell is a structural and functional unit of living organism so another question may be arising like that who knows about this cell and how so in past 400 to 500 years ago english scientist is there his name is robert who okay so he he just did one experiment regarding this plant he just took out a cork cell Cork is nothing but the hard wood or hard stem of oak tree. He just took out that cork cell and he observed that cork cell under microscope. That microscope also uh, developed by himself only. Microscope is nothing but an instrument on which we can examine a minute things which uh, we cannot easily examine our naked eyes. That is microscope. So he just <clears throat> examined that cork slice under microscope and he concluded that there is a honeycomb like structure 
he compare his result with honeycomb there is a small compartment small pores and he compare his conclusion with honeycomb there is a small pores inside of that sample and he term that small compartment as a cell so cell is a latin word which means a small room or little room okay so like this way robert hook coined term cell another <coughs> in 1674 anton von leeuwen who he developed well magnifying microscope and he just take sample from from pond water he just take free living cells and he visualize uh, that cells and as a conclusion he concluded that cell is a living thing that is a movable so make it remind that the first living cell examination is done by anton von leeuwen who and first dead a uh, cell is observed by robert hook and the cell term is coined by robert hook so like this way many curiosity in increases in scientists at that time uh, so many scientists are uh, try to about try to study about cells so in uh, uh, 18 38 and 1839 uh, two scientists are there that is a uh, sheldon and schwann they developed a cell theory they give three different points about cell that is the first one the all body of living organism is made up of cell and second one the structural and functional unit of organism is cell and the last one they concluded that cell produce continuous spontaneously so in after 2 years the scientist rudolf virchow he concluded that the cell is arising from pre existing one means the first cell produce another one another produce next one so like this way he correct that point and he concluded that the cell is arising from pre existing ones that uh, like this way the modern cell theory get developed okay as i told you the living organism of living organism body is made up of cells okay so but some living organism contain single cell and some living organism contain number of cells so those organism which contain a single cell is a unicellular organism and some organism contain multiple or millions of cell that is a multicellular organism so that organism also consider as a eukaryotes and those organism are single cellular are prokaryotes okay so prokaryotes means a pro words indicates it is primary and karyotes it a latin words which means nucleus means those organism has primary type of or we, for simple understanding it is a basic type of nucleus and eukaryote means it has a true type true type of nucleus means it is more developed apart from that simple one okay so like this way there are number of different organism which contain different type and number of cell so as per for understanding or overview view of cell we will study about eukaryote cell that is plant cell okay so this is microscopic structure of plant cell so as i shown you this is thin slice of leaf and when you visualize under electron microscope you will see image like this so there are basically outer boundaries these are the outer outer boundaries of outermost boundary of cell plant cell that is called as a cell wall okay so cell wall uh, <clears throat> it is <clears throat> outermost boundary of plant cell which protect cell from mechanical damage or it gives mechanical support okay so basically it gives rigidity to the plant cell again this uh, plant cell wall is <clears throat> made up of three different compartments that is primary cell wall secondary cell wall and mid middle lamella so this is middle most is middle lamella and through middle lamella this one cell is attached to the another cell okay so next to the 
cell wall in inner side there is a cell membrane it is also called as a plasma membrane or plasmodium okay so inside of cell there is a fluid yeah let me ask you some more academic questions yes ma'am what are yeah what are metals uh, ma'am metals are the matters which has a, a ductile nature metability and uh, it is a good conductor of uh, heat and electricity and what are non metals non metals are soft in structure physical property which are poor conductor of heat and electricity and what are the physical properties of metals uh, that is uh, metability it can uh, uh, change its shapes uh, after beater and uh, again it can create wire that is ductility and it is a good uh, conductor of heat and electricity and chemical properties of metal mm -hmm. uh, sorry ma'am i don't have idea about this it has formed basic oxides it has low electronegativities good reducing agent these are some of the negative properties as well as the okay. chemical properties yeah okay Let me ask you more questions. Could you please explain acid bases and salt in brief? Acid ba acid bases and salt, na ma'am. Okay. Yes. So acids are the uh, element on water. We it gives hydrogen ion, and the bases are uh, basically the substances uh, which on uh, water or dilution give uh, OH minus ions. and salt are the combination or reaction of them for example <clears throat> hcl when uh, hcl uh, reacts with water it, that hydrogen ion get releases it will be uh, acid and uh, for example bases naoh is there that is uh, sodium hydroxy on uh, dilution it gives uh, oh minus ion that is hydrogen ion uh, and in case of salt if uh, <clears throat> sodium and chloride uh, reacts it will be create nacl that is salts what are ionizable and in non ionizable compounds uh, ions which uh, means which has a particular charge uh, positive or negative that are uh, ions that has free valency and non ionizable means uh saturation is there their valency is fulfilled could you tell me difference between a base and an alkali uh base and alkali mm -hmm. uh, chemically i think both are same could you please tell me something about family of salts no ma'am i don't have formula for baking soda formula sodium bicarbonate that is uh, na2o na na sorry na2co3 why by juice could you please tell us some reason why we should hire you in by juice uh first of all because uh, ma'am what are the uh, skills required for this position i have that skills and experience uh, regarding what by juice want uh, for this job profile and <clears throat> i have keen interest for teaching and upgrade stu students i enjoy teaching and uh, i would be best person or candidate for this job in future as i told you okay now i'll give you three situation fine okay mm -hmm. this situation you have to arrange it according to your preference first situation situation is work life balance second is career growth and third is money can you arrange it according to your preference okay ma'am so uh, career go growth on the top and uh, second one work life balance 
and third one money. Why so? Could you explain that? Uh, because as a, I am in my 30s, uh, I should go or I should prefer for my career. Uh, if I upgrade myself uh, regarding my skill and my work platform, ultimately I will, uh, that will be give me money. We have a two-year-old bond in Baidu. So are you ready to sign the bond? Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. I'm ready. Okay. 